Hello everybody, this is Ashfish301 and this is the first video on this channel. I hope you guys like it, but this is an unboxing. Let's get into it. So I got this big box, I think it's from B and H, because I had to return something and then I had to rebuy it. So I think this is it. It's space related. So let's open it up and let's show you guys what it is. Well, I think that's how you do it. I'm guessing. Okay. Okay, it's a big box and it took at least forever to open there's so many boxes in here i don't know why i don't know why they added this many boxes but i'm just gonna pull it out that's a lot of bubble wrap in there uh. Alrighty, here is what i wanted there it is the xl eyepiece celestron seven millimeter yep there it is seven millimeter seven millimeter right there as you can see that anyways let's go ahead and unbox this there we go we opened it more bubble wrap okay okay let's get this out of the bubble wrap Man, this is heavy. Why is it so heavy? And it's a giant. Just gonna see that Celestron right there. All right. Um, how do you even open this? Oh, it's unique. It's got this like locking system, and a piece of foam just came out. Throw that off to the side. Pull the main piece out. Whoa, yo, this thing is very heavy. Okay. This is much bigger than I expected. And it's sealed on the caps. Um, when you open it, I think you gotta unscrew that for your eye. Um, this, like, bar thing does nothing. It's fully multi-coated. Let's look at this part. You can see that part. You can't really see it, but it's a 1.25 inch, no, centimeter wide hole. And then at the top, pull this off. We've got the eyepiece itself. So we can unscrew that back down. And I want to give a review on this. So let's get into the review. So the review is going to be kind of my opinion. Don't hate me in the comment section, please. But what I want to do, like the review is pretty much why you should get this. Why you should get this. I did get a 2.3 millimeter eyepiece and you can't find any with anything with it. It's more for the moon because it's the closest object to us and it's so big to us so it's easier to find. With the smaller ones it's so hard to find objects. With this one you can find objects easily and you can see them like they're just they look so nice and beautiful so I'm hoping to see Jupiter and the cloud bands and Saturn. I haven't seen that yet. It should be coming out as well as Mars. So I'm looking forward to that. This is around $65 or $60. It's quite cheap. This is one of the best versions you can get. The XLs are extremely good. I should I recommend them. XL LX, so that's what they're called. Celestron. So if you have a Celestron telescope, that's for that. Before I end this video, I want to just show you my telescope and how it will fit into your telescope. So, let's get into that. So, I am back with my telescope. And
and as you can see it's a Celestron Nexstar 127 SLT so let's put in the eyepiece and see how it looks with it here is the eyepiece we will put it into the telescope now It fits nice and snug into the holder, and yeah, so I think it looks pretty cool. It's pretty giant for the telescope, and by the way, this is my telescope. So yeah, and I will probably get some good shots with this. I'm hoping I will, but um, that's pretty much it for this review and unboxing slash telescope review i'm not going to do a review on this telescope because it's a long enough video already but this will be going up soon hopefully you you guys enjoyed more videos will be on the way thanks for watching peace out